What is up guys? It is me Max back again with another guitar tutorial and today we'll be taking a look at Selfish by Nick Jonas featuring what I guess to be like the remaining two thirds of the Jonas Brothers because I still haven't figured out how the math on this one works. But you know what does work? It's this song because it's a pretty dope song and it is also super easy to play on guitar. We only have three chords in the entire thing always in the exact same order, but you guys know me, I've got some tricks up my sleeve in order to spice things up a bit. We are in standard tuning, we don't need a capo or anything. But before we jump into today's video, I want to give a quick shout out to my friend Maddie, who did the awesome vocals for this video. Her Instagram is linked down in the description. Go check that out, give her a follow. I don't want to give a quick shout out to myself actually because I started a brand new TikTok account. I can still call it brand new because it isn't even a week old yet. Link to that is down in the description as well. Mini tutorials, tips and tricks, all that sort of stuff. Go check it out and now let's roll. So we're going to start off by taking a look at the chords we'll be using in this song and the first one is also going to be the easiest one out of the bunch and I'm talking about an E major. We start by taking our first finger, which is the index finger, and we put that onto the first fret on the third string, so on the G string. Then we take our second finger, put that onto the second fret on the fifth string, third finger onto the second fret on the fourth string, and that's already the entire chord. Next up we've got an F sharp. We take our first finger and we place that on the second fret across all six strings. Then we put our third finger onto the fourth fret on the fifth string, pinky on the fourth fret on the fourth string, and second finger onto the third fret on the third string. And I know guys, bar chords can be a literal pain, but they are worth practicing because they do open up a whole new world guitar playing wise. So if you are still having a lot of trouble with them, well, first of all, as I said, practice and don't wiggle your way out of having to play them. And second of all, if you guys want me to do like a video on how to improve your bar chord technique, drop a comment down below. If enough people request that, I'm more than happy to make that happen. And so far, we do have our E, we have our F sharp, and now we slide up onto our last chord, and that is going to be a G sharp minor. We've still got our first finger across all six strings and we still have our third finger on the fifth string, and our pinky on the fourth string, but we just went up two frets. So now we're on the fourth fret with our first finger and on the sixth fret with our third finger and pinky and we just lift the second finger off. And that's the G sharp minor. And those are our three chords. E, F sharp and G sharp minor. And from here on out, this lesson is going to be super easy because all we have to do is strum down once on those chords. We start off on our E, go down and switch onto the F, and then we hold that, then we go onto our G sharp minor, pick that and move onto the E. It's literally just That is the entire song. We are technically done at this point, but as you might remember, I said there are ways to spice things up a bit. And one thing that I think we should be doing is elevate the chorus a bit and like emphasize it. And the way we do that is by adding rhythm. And I'm gonna show you guys two quick ways of doing that. But of course, as guitarists, we have a lot of creative freedom, so you can do pretty much whatever feels right and sounds right to you. But one thing we could be doing is adding a couple of down strums on those longer chords. So for example, going from the E to the F sharp and then just a couple of downs, G sharp minor. Just like that. And another thing that I think works would be going up, down, up three times on the two chords that are a bit longer. So the F sharp and that E. And as 
I said those are just recommendations, that is now what is actually being played in the song. That is what I would be playing in the chorus to make it a bit more interesting. But that is all for today. We are done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, drop it a thumbs up. Helps me out more than you might think. And if you haven't done so already and are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It is somewhere down there. And as always, I hope that I will see you guys next time.